In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a Wix website in 2024. I'm going to show you exactly what you need to do step by step, and I'm going to create a website live with you on video and show you some of the features of Wix. This is going to be a full beginner's guide, so let's jump into it. So first what you want to do is head over to Wix.com. Once you're here, you can then click Get Started, and we can create our first website for free. So click on Get Started here, and it's then going to ask you to sign up. If you don't have an account, you can sign up here. If you already have an account, you can log in. I'm just going to sign up to a new account with you and show you the whole process because I'm sure you want a step-by-step -step tutorial. So let's enter in my email here and then fill out these forms. Okay, so now I've done that, we're going to click on sign up and that's going to obviously sign us up to Wix. It's then going to ask us who we're creating a website for. You're probably going to be creating it for yourself. So click on the first one, then click continue. Now, like usual, a lot of websites now are trying to incorporate AI into their technology. I don't think this is up to scratch yet. I wouldn't create a website with AI. It just rushes it. It doesn't create a good, fully functional website. So I will click set up without AI. And we can set up using Wix's templates, which I think is much more intuitive and much easier to actually customize. So now you've got to choose, okay, what website are you actually making? Maybe you're creating a website for something you're trying to sell. Maybe you're, I don't know, a gardener or a tattooist. You're creating a website for your service. Let's say for this video, I'm a gardener. So I'm going to just search here gardening. And you can see here, you've got here gardening service, gardening blog, and so on. Let's say I'm a gardener and I want to offer my gardening service to people. We'll click here gardening service and then continue. Now, the websites you can build with Wix are pretty much limitless. If you want to sell stuff, you can sell stuff. If you want to create a blog, a portfolio, you can do that. So I'm going to show you the features, but it's up to you to create an individual website for yourself. But anyway, now we've give Wix that information. It's going to take us to the dashboard. And from here, we can do things like set up a custom domain. Now, first, we are going to need to go through this window. You can skip this, but I recommend you just go through it anyway. Enter the name of your site. Let's say... We're calling our gardening service Knowledge Gardens for knowledge based gardens. So once you've entered in your name, click continue. And then what are your goals for the website? Well, we want to offer our gardening service. We want to promote our business, collect leads. And that's about it. Again, if you wanted to sell products, you can do that. You are going to have to open up a store on Wix, which is another tutorial in itself because you're going to have to set up payments and stuff like that. But for this video, we'll just run with my gardening service. We'll click continue. Now it's going to recommend booking apps, event apps. We don't really need any of this. We can add more apps as we go along, but I would keep your website as basic as possible. And then if you need a specific app for a specific problem or solution or to solve a problem or solution, then you can add them later. But for now, I'm just going to skip and continue to the dashboard. Now from here, we can connect domains. Now I've got many videos showing you how to connect domains to Wix. So if you just go ahead and YouTube your problem, the chances are probably come up. Click on my video and I'll help you out in the quickest time possible. But now we'll just go to design site in the top right hand corner. And that should take us into the website builder. Now Wix again, they're going to try and get you to choose this option. Let Wix create a site for you. Now, honestly, don't choose this option. In my opinion, this is going to use like Wix AI and you're not going to be able to edit it very well. And it's just going to be a pain. So I would choose here, customize a design template. So go ahead and pick a template and then you can edit it and drag and drop things as you please. Now, they're going to give you here the most popular website templates. You can go to all templates. You can choose through these different categories. We're creating a gardening website, remember? So let's just find one, which is going to be decent for us. Remember, everything here can be edited. You can change here the pictures, the text, everything. So I'll have a look on page number two. So there we go. Home remodeling company. We'll run with this one because it's kind of similar to what we're trying to create. We can view this before we edit it. I'm just going to click edit straight away though, because we can always customize this and change the template later. So that will then take you into the Wix website editor. And from here, believe me, it is very simple. So when you first open this, it might take a while to like load all of the elements. Just give it time, be patient. Once it's loaded for the first time, it will be quick after that. You can see we're adding Wix bookings, whatever that means, but just let Wix do its thing. Okay, so again, Wix are going to try and get you to complete your website with AI. Again, you can try this if you want to. I just don't love this feature at the minute. So we're going to exit out of that. So here is our website right now. We can zoom in to 100 or you can obviously zoom in and out. Now, everything that you see here, you can edit. 
you can change and everything is customizable. So first we'll go to the title. So let's double click on this and we can change this to knowledge gardens. So you want to type in your text here and you can drag this and rearrange the sizing. So if you click on this element, you can see you can edit text, you can animate this text, you can also resize it. And then if you double click on the actual text, you can change the style, the font, the font size, you can make it bold. You can see we made it bold, but it made it a bit bigger and we can like resize this. This vector art here, if we don't want this vector art, which we probably don't because it's the default, we can click change and we can upload our own vector art. So in the vector art section, you can use Wix's media or if you want to upload your own media, go to upload media. You can then upload from computer, Google Drive or any of this here. I'm going to upload from computer and we'll try and find my logo to the YouTube channel. So for the video, I'll just upload this logo here. Just pretend it's a gardening logo, okay? So I'm uploading this and we can then add this to our website once it's uploaded. Okay, so we can click on that and add to page, but it's telling me that only vector art can be chosen. So there's always workarounds for things on Wix and that's what you're gonna learn to understand. So we can just click on this and we can then click on the trash can icon or like delete button on our keyboard and it's gonna remove it. So now if we go to add elements, the workaround will be to go and import an image. So click image, upload and import, upload images. And then if we go to my Wix account, I think I've already uploaded it. If not, we'll just upload it again one more time. Upload from computer and choose this image. Okay, so now this time we can actually upload this image. And again, we can resize this. Now I'm not gonna get too caught up on designing just the top left of the page, but you know, you can customize this however you would like and just make sure this is all good and lined up for your liking, right? So now you've got Knowledge Gardens with the logo in the top right, which again, we can resize. So now you've got all of these different pages. We've got this cart icon, which I'm just gonna click on and remove because we don't want a cart. Now scrolling down here, you've got a picture with text. So to change the background, you wanna click change strip background, and then you can change it for a color, an image or a video. You can choose the pre-made ones from Wix, or if you go to settings, you can change the image opacity and where it's positioned. I'm gonna click on image, and what we can do is we can search for the media in Wix, so garden. Or if you have your own media, you can again upload it. I can't really go into much detail and like show you everything, but this is me changing the background. So there we go. And then I'll put here, we will create your dream garden. So now we've got this text, which I am going to highlight and I'm gonna make this bold again. I'm gonna to go to effects and let's see if we can add like a shadow here. I'm gonna then change the color of the effect. Now you'll find when creating your website, you've gotta be patient because you'll make some changes and they'll look terrible. So you'll have to undo and try again. Okay, so we'll run with this and I'm just going to make sure this text is centered. So if we go to alignment, we can center this. We will create your dream garden. I'm gonna drag this into the center of the page. And then this button here, I'm gonna use this button, but I'm actually gonna make this button bigger because I found it's a bit small. And then if we go to change text, we can change this to get your free quote. Now this button links to the contact page, which we can customize later. And if you go to look design on this button, you can change the button style. So maybe we want this button here. And again, look, you want to find one that obviously is good for your website. You can customize this design here and change stuff like the corners. So yeah, we'll, we'll leave it at this. I mean, again, you're going to have to play around with this. Now, let's say this image is too big. We can just drag it up. And now we've got like this section of our website all sorted, right? We'll create your dream garden, get your free quote again. You can go ahead and edit all of this so you can enter in your own images and change this text. Now, say you don't want this section at all, and you can just click on this section and you can just click delete on the keyboard and it will remove that section completely. And obviously you would edit all of these sections, this text, these images can all be edited. Now, if you wanted to change and edit these different pages here, and you wanna to go to page in the top left and you can choose these pages. Now, obviously you might not want all of these pages. So if you go to manage pages, you can just go ahead and delete whichever pages you want. So maybe you don't want this services page, delete that. Same for all of this, like contact. Maybe we don't want that, maybe we do. And again, you can customize these pages. If you wanna edit the about page, we would click on it. And here you can see it's taken us to the about page where we can now customize this and these elements. Now, if you wanted to add elements, which you are gonna to need to do, go to add elements and you can add all of these. You can add new text, new images, more buttons, more strips. If you click on strips, you've got all of these different strips that you can add. 
So you don't have to follow the theme, you can create your own with these strips. You've got different decorative images and icons, different galleries here to upload images. And Wix can get very complicated, to be honest, if you try and build like a really complicated website. But if you keep it simple and follow the themes, which is what I recommend, then you're not going to have any issues. You can also add like videos. You just have to kind of like find it where it is. So video and music, you can upload videos, embed videos from YouTube, and you just drag these elements on, right? So let's say we want a video here. You can just drag this on. And then now you've got your video on. Now we can move this strip down a little bit and then add this video here. Now, again, don't get too crazy with this. If you get too crazy with it, everything's going to start moving and you're going to be so confused. But just make small changes and see how it looks. I will just follow the template that you're using. Then if you want to preview it, click preview in the top right hand corner and you're now in preview mode. So let's go home and see how this looks. So we will create your dream garden, knowledge gardens, get your free quote. And obviously we would have edited all of this. Now, if you want to publish it, go to publish in the top right hand corner. It's going to load up this window where you can then view site. And then this here is going to be your URL to your website, which you can copy and give to people. Now, if you're on the free plan, you are going to have this Wix advertisement here, which you can't get rid of without the free plan. And but that's been a basic overview of Wix. Again, I wanted to make this short and quick and easy to follow. You can get very complex with Wix, but if this video did help you out, let me know in the comments. And if you've got any specific questions, comment them below and we'll try and help each other in the comments. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.